In today's video, I'm going to show you how you don't need a lot of plays to be successful offensively in Madden. You just need the right plays out of the same formation that is going to force your opponent to have to overcommit to stop one thing, and then you're going to be able to open other things up. Now, to do this, I'm going to be showing you the tight offset tight end formation, which is one of the best formations in the game this year. This is going to also probably be one of the better formations in Madden 24, as it has been one of the best offenses year over year in Madden. In fact, I actually put a poll up on the channel, and 60 65% of you guys said that tight offset tight end is going to be one of the best, if not the best offense in Madden 24. So I want to explain why this is such a good formation and how you can run it. Now, if you want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. The link's in the description below. Uh, it gets you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as stuff that we're going to be dropping to prepare everybody for Madden 24. So again, if you want to join the Patreon, the link is down in the description. So if you just take a look at the quick audibles alone, you've got some really good stuff in tight offset. You've got this play PA shot seems one of the best passing plays in Madden 24, maybe the best passing play in the game. And the beauty of Saints is what it has is it has some really powerful plays. Um, and, and another one of those plays that is really, really, really good is this play Saints in uh, with this really kind of like super powerful post route that can beat man coverage. It also has the zero one trap, which is one of the best runs in the game. And then you have PA shot seems kind of a base play bench is kind of a constraint theory play. And then lastly, you have this wild HP swing, or you have uh, another play, for example, Saint spot really good. Um, Saint spot shake though, with these seam streaks is really effective as well. So these are going to be kind of our audible setups, and I just want to walk through why this formation is so powerful. And again, the whole purpose of this is to try to simplify what we're doing so that you can understand like the powerful plays in the game. So the first one we're going to start with is PA shot seams. And this is one of the best plays in the game. There's really two key ways to run this play. The first way is we are going to put the left side uh, receiver, the outside receiver on a corner route. And then you can literally just quick snap this play, snap it as fast as humanly possible. What will happen is this um, kind of interior corner route that's a little bit deeper is going to destroy man coverage. Now, the real benefit of this play, as far as how it works against any kind of zone coverage, is it doesn't really matter what zone the defense plays. You're going to have an advantage with this corner route to the left. So I'll show it to you here real quick. So we're going to go to like a cover four drop. And what you'll notice, especially if we run this to the short side of the field, is that this short corner will pretty much always be open. As you can see right there, against cover four is going to be open. Now, the other benefit of this play is let's say that they wanted to go into some match concepts. Match coverage is not going to offend this very well. Um, and this is truly, I think, one of the biggest benefits of this formation is you see that, that, um, that deeper corner route against match coverage a lot of times it's going to be a one play touchdown. Um, you might need to free form it, but basically what you'll see here is he'll get this light up animation and then he'll kind of just roast him and you can throw this over the top for a big play. So it makes it really effective because you can't really defend it in match. You can't really defend it in zone. In fact, the best way to defend this play um, is typically to be some type of double Mabel. Now, the problem with double Mabel, and this is what makes this such a powerful play and it's so difficult to stop, is if they go double Mabel, they're going to be able to stop the short corner, but the deep corner oftentimes is going to be able to burn the deep half over the top of the defense. So what you're going to see here is it's able to stop the short corner, but that other corner route you see I can throw with the pass lead outside, and a lot of times he's not going to be able to react fast enough to be able to defend this. So it's really not a great way to defend this play. One of the best things you can probably do is utilize a covered four match uh, this was something that Deuce Close made popular in Madden 21, and then basically manning up the problem receiver. And so what you'll see with this is you'll get kind of a matching concept on this guy where it will create, it will create kind of a double team uh, type of type of idea. So this play does a really good job of attacking the left sideline consistently, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a counter play or something else that is going to be even better for where this play specifically is vulnerable. So that is where Saints in becomes really effective. It's one of the best man beating plays in the game. And it also is going to be able to do a really good job of beating any kind of heavy sideline coverage. And so we'll show you that real quick. So what we're going to do with this play specifically 
is we are going to take our slot receiver here, Randy Moss, and we're going to put him on a slant. We're going to then take that outside receiver, and we're going to put him on a corner route. I like to typically streak this tight end route, and then you can block the running back or just put him on a simple out route. Um, that's fine as well. And what you're going to notice, though, is the main route on this play is this post route, and you're going to see that it just absolutely destroys man coverage to the inside. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this post route in particular is the fact that this post route really doesn't give a tell early on in the route that it's going to be a post route. It might even look like just a fade streak or something, and that's what makes this play, I think, super powerful. He kind of goes out like he's just going to run a streak or a corner, and then he does that sharp cut inside, and he's able to throw that or able to make that post break. Now, uh, where this is also really powerful is if we go back to this uh, coverage shell, I did, I did want to say one other thing about this PA seams play. So another thing that you got to understand about this PA seams play is you can also run the play like this, where we're just going to basically have an all out vertical attack. And what you'll see is that deep corner route that time he got kind of bumped in man coverage, but he can get over the top of 20 or 30 yard clouds as well. Um, and so it just gives you, if they're going to run that match coverage concept where they're using the two cloud flats, then you could do something like this and you can really out leverage the match coverage on really either side. As you can see, the seam route on the right side is able to get uh, pretty good separation as well. Now, if we wanted to attack the right side of the field, um, there's a lot of different ways that we can go about it. Uh, typically, what I would recommend is you, generally speaking, want to be attacking the short side. But one of the other things that we can do with this specific setup is we could do this motion out right here to Jimmy Smith, put the tight end on a post, and then we're going to have this backside slant. So you see it's kind of creating a similar concept to the play slot post. And now we've got the running back kind of coming into the seam wheel perspective, and then you can run the play like this. So there's a lot of different variations to this. Um, I think we've shown you about four or five plays. You've got zero one trap, and then bench is kind of a constraint theory play. You can just put the running back on an angle route and snap the ball. These corner routes are gonna do a really good job at consistently attacking man-to-man -man coverage. Then you also have, as they start to maybe get more into like a zone blitzing style of defense, you can go to this play here, uh, Saint Spot Shake. And all I would recommend uh, is you could, I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want here. You can literally just snap this play or just take this right side receiver and put him on a slant route or a five yard in route. Um, and basically what will happen is these seam streaks are super hard to guard with just a simple quick throw. So wherever the user goes, you're going to throw to the other side. So I'll show you that again here. And this time I'll even use a vertical hook. So let's say that the user is going to go to the right side to take away that right side route. What happens is because of these wheel routes on both sides, it pulls the yellow zones down significantly and you can throw these user catch uh, seams in behind it. So super simple offense here from tight offset, but it's one of the best offenses in the game because every play that you call from this formation is one of the best plays in the game that can attack that specific thing. One last little cool setup, if you wanna go more of a traditional flood, you could do something like this out of the play PA shot seams and utilize that motion slant to be able to even better be uh, consistent against man coverage. If you wanna get my entire Saints offensive ebook, join the Patreon for just $10. It'll get you access to all of my Madden ebooks. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.